channel Firefly Gaming here. I'm in my own server, my homebrewed server. Now, this one day, I eventually want to try to make live. I have no problems with any other server I've been in. I've never made enemies. I've never been banned or kicked a day of my life. But, you know, I just felt, you know, I saw one of my buddies do it. And it seemed pretty easy for him to do it. And he's younger than me. So, you know, if a younger kid could do it, you know, let me try it. And, you know, here we are. So, I have things taken out of the server, a lot of things. I do got a lot of map mods in here still, but vehicle-wise, I took all the vehicles out. I'm focusing on the LEO vehicles right now. Civ vehicles, I kind of basically have under control. I know what I want. I'm going to have to go in when I do the new, new server, make sure I got every single name for all the replaced and updated and changed vehicles that I have done. So, we could, you know, put it in the new server and have things ready, but I actually am uh, working with this guy that I'm talking to on Discord and he is uh, being really helpful and he was someone that commented back on a video I commented on and he asked me to join his Discord and he's going to teach me a few things about server editing and doing things and another person that I was talking to when I was in the chat with him um, he said that he's going to one day when he's free and I'm free and we're both, you know, free together. He's going to, you know, teach me how to do liveries, which that's pretty amazing. I've always wanted to learn how to do that. And if I could learn how to do that, there's some old school vehicles that I do have, which are not in the game anymore, but I do have. And I would figure out how to, you know, find someone that knows how to mess with the lighting, switch them all to blues, and turn them to a Chicago cars, old school Chicago cars. That would be flipping amazing. That would be pretty amazing. And indeed it would, would be. <laughs> but, so, you're wondering what are we doing here and whatnot. Well, we're here at the um, Polito Station, which this is a actually updated station, which I'll go inside and show you guys real quick. It is nothing fancy. Eventually, I would probably want to buy something and, you know, have something cool put here. But, you know, it's a free MLO, so basically you walk in. This is the main office. It kind of looks like, you know... The standard, you know, uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Department. But then you come over here, you know, you got your, you got your office, and everything, which is pretty cool. I mean, for a free MLO and an old one, with <laughs> as that because you know, this is probably something that was made probably in the early days of you know, doing stuff. But you know, you got your, you got your little evidence locker room right here and stuff. You know, people will try to break in and steal some stuff. You know. Then over here, you know, you got your little security guard that sits there. Well, actual cop. <laughs> it's like a security guard. He's just watching you guys as he just sits there. Those old school movies of the prison cells. <laughs> then yeah, you got a door to lead you outside. And then you got another door over there that leads you outside. And in here, as I said, this is the office area and whatnot. And then you come over here. Takes you in this room and... You could obviously see that someone's, well, that's an account. <laughs> I don't know how to remove the pads yet. That's something I'm going to have to learn. So that way I can remove them instead of being inside MLOs in places they shouldn't be. But, you know, for now, it is what it is. And, yeah, you got your little interrogation room back there. But, yeah. So, I'm not really going to be going too much over the server. I haven't done with it too, don't too even much. Go there. Oh, whoops. My bad. I know you're being interrogated. I just come hey, to show you. You're gonna call the cops, though. So that's fine. I, I'm, I'm basically the admin, so I mean, cops gonna come and I'm like, yeah. Well, guess what? Admin kick. <laughs> oh no, I wish I could kick him. Sadly, I probably wouldn't be able to kick a, <laughs> a, 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 a not a real player. <laughs> I can kill him though. <laughs> GTA, GTA, call an admin, FRP. <laughs> But no, so we're just going to basically go on this episode. It's going to be a quick little short one. I'm going to go over all the LEO vehicles we're doing. Now, I'm doing Chicago State. Uh, well, I'm not calling it State, but basically Chicago role play in the state of Illinois, you know. And it's basically going to be a place that's close by where I live, you know. And I love the blues. I could, I mean, don't get me wrong. Red and blues are cool, too. But the straight blues, oh, that's just beautiful. Uh, I prefer the straight blues over the red and blues. Now, there is a few vehicles that may have red and blues, and I may only pull them out time to time and 
maybe like me and like the high staff admins would only be able to use them because this is Illinois. All the lights are blue, but if we're, if we're using them, it's got to be for like a special occasion. Maybe if we're doing a video and we pulled out the old retired cars from back in the day, you know. So yeah, but other than that, let's go to uh, the save vehicles now. Obviously, everything is still being set up. I don't have lots of cars in here anymore. I removed a lot of stuff, and I'm getting set up to when I get, you know, the uh, legit official server up and running where people will be able to join. And that way, this is where I can test and see what I want, what I don't want, what's broken, what's not broken, vice versa, you know. So, let's get on with it. So, we're going to kick things off. We got an ambulance right here. And this ambulance, I mean, obviously, it's not all blues. And to be honest with you, I don't even think the ambulances are all blue in uh, Illinois. I, I could be mistaken. I'm not even sure if ambulances can be all blue. I'm pretty sure there is ambulances that just do straight blue. But usually, it's, you know, it, it's, it's, it's red and, you know, yellow, you know. And ambers, you know, the ambers warning people. And then the red, you know, emergency type deal, you know. Yeah, so basically this is the ambulance and whatnot. And there's probably extras and stuff that I didn't upload or, you know, mess with the dongles and whatnot. But yeah, this is basically the ambulance I have and eventually if I can, you know, get, you know, liveries done and learn how to do that, this will have, you know, an a legit official Chicago, you know, ambulance livery. Then we're gonna switch over here and this is where I love this sexy straight blues. This is a Chicago Police Department Crown Vic. Crown Vic's out of every single police car that is on the force till this day is one of my favorite police cars. It's just classic and I just love these cars, you know, for, for a police car. Now, an actual legit civilian car, I probably wouldn't want to have it, but if I was ever a cop, which <laughs> I'm never going to be a cop, but <laughs> if I was in real life, I would, I would ask, hey, you guys got a Vic? A any year I mean preferably the older years are better you know but yeah so that's that one and we're gonna go to this one right here the little Victoria I love this thing right here this is another one of my favorite uh, cop cars this is my second favorite and people are like oh it's not a charger it's not a Hellcat it's no these look amazing in my eyes I mean it's nothing fancy you know it's just the straight, you know, it's got the reds up there, a little bit of reds, but it's more of the blue that you see. But probably with my MV textures, you can see a little bit of the red, and probably that's the brakes. Yeah, that, that's the brakes. So that's not even a part of the, you know, lights, which that's pretty cool. It's got brakes on there, but yeah. This is another favorite one of mine. And then we're going to go down to this one. And this is another favorite of mine. I love the older versions of these. I, if I could find another version of this version of a cop car, this style, this make and model, you know, but an older version, I'd want like an early 2000s. And then to be honest with you, I would want it to be not the Chevy, not, not, made, not made by Chevy, you know, because, you know, <laughs> it's not a Chevy. It's a generic made Chevy, man. I want a GMC, one of those old school 2000 GMC cop cars. And if you know, if you all know what I'm talking about, then you know what exactly what I, I'm looking for. And if you all could find one of those and send it down five and ready, because that's all I know how to do right now is five and ready material. So if you could send me five and ready, I'll be good to go. You know, I'm learning and learning, and I got someone that's going to be teaching me. And you know, I can't wait. And here's the next car. This one, I would say it's not like something I don't like, but it's not one of my favorites. And it, it's, it's a nice cop car, don't get me wrong. Especially the other ones that have like all the Christmas trees and all that. But this is Chicago. Chicago, you go out there, their cars are not really Christmas trees. Their cars are pretty simple and plain Jane. But, that, I mean, to be honest with you, that's all you need nowadays is just plain Jane. And then this one, this one's not bad either. I mean, but still, not one of my favorites. It's meh, in my opinion, you know. But, you know, it's still a good cop car in my eyes. 
and we're going to go down to where we start uh, getting into some unmarks but this one right here this is a red and blue one so this one would only be brought out time to time and then if anyone asked at a RP it would basically be that um you know I got I got this from the garage or whatever you know and you know it's one of the newer fleets and we're thinking about doing red and blues we're not 100% sure yet you know but it'd be very rare that you see me drive this one heck anyone in the server I mean no one would have their hands on there besides admins and if they wanted to drive it they'd have to ask me you gotta have a good reason like testing out a new vehicle for today but I mean you're not gonna drive this every day because Chicago's all blues now if I could fix this and change it to all blues be my guest drive it whenever you want then we're going to one of my favorite unmarks right here this is gonna be my third I mean obviously these these styles of cars are amazing you know the, the Hellcats and the Chargers and all that I love I love any type of Charger the Hellcat versions you know the SRTs all that you know the Chargers are are, are my top three because Chargers and I mean they got they got a nice sounding engine and they're pretty quick too especially when you got one of the you know anniversary editions and it's very rare that you see some police forces have it obviously I mean I'm not even 100% sure Chicago even has uh chargers in the police force but you know for the server it's just rp it's you know we're here to have fun we're here to you know bring on the role play aspect and whatnot you know and everything's not going to be 100 percent legit like you know in real life but yeah this is a pretty nice car you know. and we're going to go on to this next one right here and this one is my member uh this one is like in my top five i believe i would say i'm i wouldn't say for sure I mean, as I say, I don't really care for these ones as much, but, I mean, having it slicked, you know, and no liveries, and, you know, and it's got the lights in the front, but, I mean, as I say, this is all the extras, I put all the extras that I could on, so that way when I'm showcasing these, y'all can see, but when I eventually go re replace these and start editing them and make them in the way I want, then, obviously, they're going to have my, 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 my call sign, which... Uh, I gotta figure out what type of call signs, you know, Illinois uses, but hopefully they use, like, One King or something like that, because, I mean, I've always wanted to call myself, like, One King 24 or something like that, because, you know, I was born on the 24th, you know, and, you know, I, I, I love King, because DOJ days when I used to watch it, have letting, having them say King all the time, blah, 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 King, blah, 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 you know, I just, and... I'm obviously, you know, a one of the server. This is my server, so, you know, one, one king, uh, 24 or something like that, you know. I mean, it, it's it's not guaranteed that's what I want my name to be, but, you know. Then we're going to move on to our next one. This is another unmarked one. And a lot of these unmarked ones are unmarked ones that came with the Chicago pack that I found and put all the Chicago cars in here. Some of them kind of may look the same when I spawn them, but if you check the lights, the pattern are different. And then when you go to the extras and you edit, you can't change the pattern of what the lights came on this car. So there may be less, there may be more, but as I say, most of the Illinois cop cars are not fancy, you know. They're, they're, they're pretty they're pretty bleh and meh but you know sometimes you know you don't need to be all fancy and whatnot you know to get the job done and take your criminals to jail <laughs> and, but then as you see I go to this one and as you see if you looked in the lights the other one had the one light in the uh, one of the corners of the window that's in the middle so a little difference in the lighting position and whatnot but I mean still a cool car and I'm glad that I was able to get all this stuff in because, you know, just seeing it in, it just, Jesus, it's like, ah, oh, makes me want to cry, you know? <laughs> and then here's another one. Now, this one's got some blue and whites, which I don't mind if it's blue and white, to be honest with you. Blue and white's fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of the updated Chicago cars that are newer, which, I mean, obviously it's an old pack that I downloaded and it's older style Chicago cars but I'm pretty sure that some of theirs have you know white in it you know I, I never 
you know, gotten pulled over by Chicago police or been hassled or trumped up charges until I start getting trumped up in the server that I join and then people that come are just gonna be tr trumped me up and I'm the fucking owner, man. It's fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> now we go to our next car right here. Now this one, pretty standard with the lights. Not too fancy, but you know. Only thing I wish this one would have had is there are running lights on the uh, side floorboard. Other than that, pretty standard, but pretty nice, you know. Not bad looking. And then we go to a truck now. Trucks are my favorite, but they're slow. But they're still my favorite to drive, you know. It's just when you get into pursuit, they're not the best. But this one's got some pretty good lighting, a good package. I love, obviously, the floorboards and the grill lighting and whatnot. It just makes it look nice, you know. Then we're going to our next one right here. This one, obviously, is another undercover that is really nice and pretty fast and you know probably if you saw this on the road just driving I mean if you were paying close attention and you were smart enough you would realize okay there's an antenna in the back of that middle yeah that's a fucking cop but not everyone's smart like that and not paying attention and seeing what is on what car or whatnot sometimes so you know I'd be driving you know and then you, you just you do something stupid and then you just think I'm a civilian and then just nonchalantly just play it off and get in the lane, get behind you and whatnot. And as soon as the light turns green and whatnot, we'll start to pull forward and. And I'll just get there. Ha ha, ba ba. You know? <laughs> like, fuck, man. That was a cat. Kind of bad. The fucking cat. It's fucking bullshit, man. And then here's another one, one of, one of my favorites that I found. It is the K5, which, I mean, not the same K5 version that is in Scott Valley. Um, it's not like the K5, the civilian one, but it's basically, you know, something that has red and blues, and it's old, so maybe time to time this won't be driven, really. I mean, obviously I say that only people that would get the ones that are red and blues would be admins and if you're driving it you know it would have to be like a good situation or scenario where you're blowing up because you know Chicago's blue but you know I thought this was pretty sick seeing this you know because you know wow that's it, it's an old school car and it's very rare that you come across them now I will be pulling up a very very old school car that's pretty cool that it's five and ready and I was able to put it in but yeah I mean this one's pretty nice I mean shoot I mean Say, like, a cop's playing as a civilian and he's off-duty, he could have a car like this, you know? He transferred from a different state, but, you know, he's still a cop, and he just didn't change it to ball blues, so... I mean, I'm not sure how legal or illegal that is in real life, to be honest with you, but, you know, for RP purposes, I'd probably let that slide, you know? Yeah, he's a cop, he's, and he saw you doing... He pulled you over, and he called 911, and he said his badge number, and he asked to send some people here, you know? But, yeah, this is the fucking old-school thing, I... I was just, you know, I went to LSPDFR, and when I was trying to find new new uh, cars with uh, blue lights, I went to the very last page, instead of going from the beginning and going, like, I went to the last page and back, and I came across this monstrosity. Now, this thing, obviously, would be like, we do, like, a old school bringing out the patrol type thing, you know, and it was just bringing out for one time and one time only, you know, but this thing is, I wouldn't say it's ridiculous, it's pretty cool in my eyes, to be honest with you. I mean, you gotta imagine, cop cars back in the day were pretty more beautiful than cop cars now. Because they, they, cars back in the day had the curves and the bodywork and all this amazing stuff that made it look different, you know? So, it's not like today where cars are just, you know, reproduced and they kind of look the same. Every version just a little different and not made out of the good material that, you know, a car should be made of, you know? Then we go on to this one right here, and this is a cool one that I like as well. Obviously, it has red and blue, so maybe, like, you know, as I was talking about, like, say, like, you know, a cop wants to RP that he brought, like, an old one out, or we got a new one shipped to the department for today because his, you know, took a crap. And yes, it's got reds, but, I mean, yeah. hey, if I could figure out how to change this all to blue, I would, I would love to learn that. Being able to take these modded vehicles that people made and changing some of the files and, you know, changing this car to a straight, you know, blue 
lighting system instead of a red lighting system with blue in it. So it's not red and blues, it's just straight blues. You know, that'd be amazing. But, you know, other than that, this is my siren back at your hand. I used to be rocking um, before I swapped over to this one, which is in multiple of my videos. It was a Code 3 V-Con, I believe it was. I think it was the V-Con. It was the one that sounded like a truck horn, and that's the reason why I used it. And I, I, I switched that back over back in Indiana State Road Pro days, and I rocked with it ever since. It's just, in my opinion, that's a good, that's a good, you know, police siren sound. But since I'm starting my own server, since, you know, I'm starting fresh, I figured, you know, well, I'm going to be doing, you know, stuff in my, uh, like, Chicago style, you know, so, you know, I want something different, you know, especially, you know, and even in other servers, the file transfers along, so when I go back to Scott Valley or whatnot, and I, I hear the sirens, I'm going to hear this now, and it's easy to switch, you know, and all it is is, I mean, you go find the file you want, which I got all the files downloaded and saved in a folder. So you just basically go to your main directory, you know, you go find the file you want. And then when you find it, it's just a simple resident file. Uh, and then you change the resident file. And then once you change the resident file, it'll ask if you want to replace it. Now, obviously, if you never changed it before, I would suggest go make a copy of the original GTA resident file. Because if you mess up, then you might have to start over and then re-download your stuff and yeah it's not gonna be a fun time but if you know what you're doing you, know, you just replace that resident file you know load up 5m and then bada boom bada bang you got your you know your nice little siren sound but yeah other than that ladies and gentlemen um that's where I'm going to end it right here, so, you know, I'm not on duty, I'm not a cop right now, but eventually when I get all the uniforms and things in, you know, to make this legit and make this actual, like, a good server or whatnot, you know, where people are going to want to come and play and join and have fun, you know, and <clears throat> maybe we can purge some people. <clears throat> no, you know. He's purging? He's trying to He's trying to take people from our server? I mean, <laughs> if you don't get caught, I mean, unless someone snitches, then... And they can go fuck off, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm mean, i just going to tell people, hey, I'm not going to try to steal. I'm not going to force it. I'm just say, hey, you know, I got a server. I'm doing Chicago-style RP, you know, in Illinois. And it's a new server. And I've been to so many servers in my career of doing this. And it's... <laughs> I haven't been playing for years like some of these people have. And being as many servers that I've been in, it's... I'm, I'm not saying it's a shame, but it just sucks because, I mean, majority of time, it's not even me. Majority of time, it's me and my brother getting in the server we love, and then, you know, dumb shit happens, and the server goes to trash, and then, you know, or either, you know, <clears throat> he gets banned. <clears throat> nah, but, yeah, that that's happened, and it sucked, and then it's like, oh, well, well, wherever my brother goes, I go, and it sucks that that's happened to him a few times, you know, but wherever he goes, I go, and sadly, I've never been banned, I've never been, you know, I mean, I've been talked to a few times for things I've done, but, you know, out of context, I was told by a cop I could do that, and he's RPing it, and then there were some other times where it was just kind of, you know, the RP was kind of not legit, you know, but very, very rare, every server I've been into, they, they love my RP, heck, I've been told when I'm with uh, my brother Dickie, when we do the Mickey and Dickie, that's, that, that, that's the best RP that they enjoy. Anyone in any server has told me that. When I'm doing just RP by myself, I know people are enjoying it. I'm, break, I'm breaking their fucking, you know, they're, in, they're, on, they're on the mic trying to talk, and I'm breaking them. They're trying not to laugh, and, you know, and then they get quiet, and then it's funny, and, you know, and it doesn't matter who I play. Is If I go in, I give the cops a good scenario, I give them a good RP, and I'm just here to have fun, you know. But now I'm here to, you know, make my own server, I'm here to try and be up charges when I become a cop, because I would never ever become a cop in any other server, that's just me, all these servers have their rules, you know, you gotta be so many hours, and if you're not, then you're not gonna be a cop, and you gotta do this, or you gotta do that, you know, I'm gonna have it where, 
if I want to be a sieve, I'm going to be a sieve. Now, obviously, if there's not many sieves on, yeah, I'm going to jump over to LEO, you know, and I'm going to be a cop. But if I, if I hop on and I see that there's like seven, eight cops and there's like three or four sieves, yeah, I might join as a sieve, you know. But, you know, yeah, I'm going to be lenient about my rules and whatnot. I'm not going to be, I'm going to kind of, if you watch OCRP, my stuff is going to be similar to that. Although, with my server, the only difference is what OCRP does is they're statewide. I'm not going to be statewide. I'm going to be Blaine County wide. So, you could be anywhere in Blaine County. I mean, depending on how many people are on, if it's not too many people, I'll just say, hey, stick around like Sandy, you know, 68, and, you know, going down to Grape Seed and whatnot, and, but don't, don't be going too far, further away, because there's not too many cops on, but if there's enough cops on, no, all the time, I want to do Blaine County RV, I have many ideas for the server, putting the pool script in, put on a bowling script in, so that way, you know, people just want to come in, and, you know, just, Go chillax RP, you know, not always have to, you know, get pulled over by cops and whatnot. Then, yeah, you can go RP and go to the bowling alley, go to the pool. Now, if it's going to be in a place that's out of AOP, that's fine. I understand. Do what you got to do. Go to that bowling alley and go bowl. Just note that maybe if you do do that, I'll have rules set up where you can't do no, like, RP 911 shit or anything or try to get the cops to come down there. You're just down there, and you're just playing for fun, you know? And then when you're done, then you're to come back to the RP zone, and then, you know, when you're done bowling or whatnot or playing pool or wherever you're at, and, you know, RP. Unless you are in the zone where you can play pool and, you know, say, you know, the guy tips the table. You fucking tip the table, man. I ain't fucking tip the table. Nah, no, dicky, you fucking... I saw it, man. I turned my head to get a drink, and I saw you fucking lift up that corner right there, and then the ball just went in, man. That's fucking bullshit. Yeah, I didn't need to check it, man. I didn't fl Yeah, fuck off, dude. I saw fucking asshole. Fucking... Fuck you. I ain't, I ain't, you ain't getting my five dollars. That bet's off. I saw what you did. Fuck off. I'm going to spend this five dollars and get a beer and just, you know, work out. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, ladies and gentlemen... That's a little bit of uh, the stuff I have here in the server so far of police cars. I might add some more. I got to figure out, you know, different textures and liveries and styles and whatnot they have. I know majority of the time, this is basically what I see right here. These styles, you know, the blue stripe, white, Chicago police, you know. And it's basically this style of cars I see all the time out there. And then the unmarked ones I pulled out, not all of them, but majority of the other ones I pulled out. Like if I go to the list, real quick before I get off and like, so basically, um, let me go here like to this one. This one was a part of the Chicago pack. This one was a part of the Chicago pack. This one was also a part of Chicago pack. And now as I say, you look at the lights, the lights are different on this one, and then you go to this one and see the lights in the corner. So they're different, they're different versions, different years. I'm not sure what years they are because they didn't say, but you know, they're definitely different years. And then, other than that, that one wasn't a part of the Chicago Pact. Um, this one was a part of the Chicago Pact. This one wasn't, this one wasn't. This one definitely wasn't. This one definitely wasn't. This one definitely wasn't. This one is not a part of like a Chicago pack, but it is, you know, upgraded, you know, ambulance. And eventually, you know, when I figure out how to do liveries or I can find someone to do liveries for me, you know, change this all out and have it, you know, white and blue or whatever to match, you know, the colors of the Chicago stuff, you know. But yeah, that was definitely a part of the pack. That one was, this one was, this one was, this one was, and then yeah, this one wasn't. Other than that, oh, and this one wasn't either. Other than that, some of them were added, different change, you know, because obviously I want to have some, you know, extra vehicles, you know, the Chicago Police Department doesn't have, you know, a charger or any type of SRTs or Hellcats or whatnot, so I definitely want to give it that, you know. And then, obviously, that was a part of it, that was a part of it, so was that one, but, you know, they didn't have nothing like this, no fucking Shelby's on their force, I know for a fact, and that was a part of it, though. I know they don't got no trucks, I mean, as far as I know, I don't, I haven't been out there in a very long time, watching, you know, driving and traveling when I used to go with family and whatnot out there all the time, and then this one is definitely not part of it either. Same with this one, definitely not, and that one, and this one, but yeah. 
Well, there and that, ladies and gentlemen. That's where we're going to end it. So, um, I'm going to showcase more in the future. You know, I got some more stuff I want to showcase. Like, if you kind of look over there, it's kind of hard to tell, but if you kind of look over there, there's an MLL, which, let me see. It looks like it's not working real quick. Let me go check it out. As I said, I took some stuff out, put some stuff in. Oh, no, that it's there. So that's as far as I'm going to go, because I don't really want to showcase that just yet. But yeah, there's a building right there, so. It's just far back, it doesn't look like it, you know. But yeah, other than that, I got some buildings and things I'm going to go over in another video. I kind of did one video going over some stuff already here on my channel, but some of that stuff I did in that video and whatnot is gone. It doesn't work no more. I don't know why. Don't ask me. It's probably because I got focused on the county, started putting lots of stuff out here for the county, so, you know, it crashed something for the city, but in my eyes, for me, I don't like the city, I never cared about the city, and any server I played in, when they do city patrols, to me, I just don't like the city, I'm tired of sitting at the red lights, and they're just sitting there, sitting there, and sitting there, and then, you, you can't go through it, because you go through it, and then, for all you know, there's a cop sitting right there, and you didn't see him, and all of a sudden, and it's like, nah, fuck. So it's like, like the county, there's really no stop lights, you know, just stop signs and shit, you know? But yeah, so county will be where I'll be. And I don't know if I will crash now. I haven't been out there in a while. I mean, the only mod I should have out there, I mean, I'm not sure because I did download some like drug farms and stuff, you know? But I don't know where exactly those are at yet. But I know for a fact that, you know, one 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 MLO I have out there that I kept because I thought it was cool was a bar which was called a pub, and and I was like that's pretty dope. Now I wish that pub would have been in grape seed, but it wasn't, and you can't move it. And if you could, I don't even know how to move it to begin with. I mean, so but yeah, so but yeah, I'll find more mods in the future. I'll be showcasing more. Stay tuned for a showcasing on MLOs. And eventually one day I will make a brand new server, buy the hosting stuff, make it live, and y'all could join. And if you all want to join in the future, I hope you all do. I can't wait to see if you guys would love to be in part of my server, you know? Mickey Sticky Flowers is finally the fucking mirror. You guys can't trump me up at charges. I'm going to trump you up at charges, although I can't be a cop because I'm just failing, but you know. I think there's this guy named Mickey Rose, I think, and I think he's, I think he's, I think he's gonna be a cop, and, you know, somehow, even though, I don't know how it's possible, but he's gonna trump me up with charges and hassle me, and somehow take me to jail, and I don't even know how that's possible, and that's gonna be fucked up, but until that happens, and when it does, that's gonna be fucked up, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope it doesn't, but if it does, fuck, until next time, though, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you all later.